Welcome back to Let's Play Headlander, Burning Dog fans. I had a whole little speech prepared, but uh, it's kind of been ruined because even though I ended the game last time in the uh, body I needed, this is the one I ended up with when I loaded. So, uh, shit. I'm not happy about that. Mm, let me tell you. I'll tell you what. That's better. Yes, that makes me feel much better. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go get that body and then we'll do a proper introduction. Okay, let's try this again. Fucking third time's the charm. Last time I made it back through the uh, teleporter and promptly discovered I could accidentally pull the fucking crystal out with my head beam. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> of course. Green, it's been a while. The other side of this door is amazing. Go find greener pastures, why don't you? Hmm. Oh. There's a vaccine. Sorry, I just need to... Opening. Like one of those fucking puzzles where you have to get the animals across the river. You just might have the correct clearance. Oops. Wrong one. Okay. Now then! What I wanted to say in the first place, or everything went to hell and my mood got spoiled. <sighs> Be unstoppable, says my laws and driver. It's gonna be something like, I'm burning dog face, and I'm almost done here. I've gotten every upgrade. I've found and activated every hidden terminal and energy sack. And I've completed every side mission I've encountered except the one I'm currently on. Um... I do notice that I'm only at 89% complete and that there are uh, still 32 rooms left for me to find. You know what? Even if it means I don't get the 100% achievement... I think I'm ready. Ready to go take on Methuselah and free humanity. So all I'm gonna do is hand in this quest and then the end game begins. Hey, Rhea. You wouldn't believe what I had to go through to get this thing. That's the power gem I'm looking for, but I need a little more help. Oh no. Can you extract the gem from the body and drop it in my light? <laughs> Sorry, I just found the, the drone uh, photobombing this really, really funny. And now he's teleported. I do it, but sometimes I crack the gem when I'm pulling it out. That vacuum drive of yours will do a better job. 
Ah, uh, fine. Are you gonna move that power gem to my light? My plants will be so happy! Here he comes again. Your vacuum drive should have no problem. Where's your Oh, up there. Okay. I'll get a good view for this. I was wondering why I could even do that. Other than the fact that it's funny. May I entertain you? You already did, friend. You already did. Oh, it still walks like that. Interesting. Oh, that's great! My plants will all be very happy now. I'm glad to hear it. At times like these, I like to close my eyes and pretend I'm in a forest. Do you remember when green just meant nature, not security clearance? Methuselah even ruined the innocence of rainbows. Hmm. I suspect indigo is suddenly going to become a very popular color after all this is over. Um... God. Oops. Oh, tab is the, uh, back button when you're using keyboard controls. That's why. Shift tab. Achieve an unlocked close encounters of the turd kind. Found a power gem charging Shepard and returned it to Rhea 6. Yeah, I guess that was a 70s movie, wasn't it? Third kind. Um... By the way, the only reference I can think of for Headmaster is that it was a thing from Transformers, except that was definitely an 80s franchise. I'm not giving you the green light on this. You know, I was actually thinking I might go for the, uh... A crazy dangerous route anyway, but I still need to get through that door in order to do it. I'm gonna amble over here and get myself that body that's generally just floating outside the entrance. Oh, there's one right here. That's convenient. Fireworks for our fallen friend. Is it weird that the first three levels of security have uh, male and female shepherds, even though they're all AI, but uh, the last three levels, all of them look like dudes? Well, look and sound, I should say. They are both the same. Oh uh, yeah, in Transformers, they had a line called Headmasters, where the idea was that, um, this is going to sound really dumb, but, uh, there were Transformers who came with a smaller robot, and the smaller robot turned into the head for the larger robot. Like they were partners or something in the lore. Like this one, though. Okay, um... Oh, God. I might as well give it a shot, right? Okay. Couldn't resist. One more. Thanks, Mitzi. Oh! Well played. I really have to get in there as soon as it opens. I literally have more experience than I know what to do with. I'm good. Put some energy back, just in case. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. Into the central system. Oh, there was a thing I could interact with. I noticed the vents up top were not open anymore. What is this thing? Yeah. Here we are. Okay. For all this faffing around. Oh, you know what? There was one, actually one other thing I wanted to do before the end game started and I lost the opportunity. Um, I wanted to give a shout out to Vencer's Prodigy. But a very uh, interesting and very amusing critique of the design of the Hunter Shepherds, the quadru quadrupedal ones with the beam laser. Uh, the, short, the short version is that he thinks they're terrible and that all of the existing Shepherds were uh, mechanically superior. He went into quite a bit of detail, but uh, I'll just mention that I really liked the part where he said that even the uh, grid clash robots made more sense because they were designed by uh, an insane AI who valued the chess theme over practicality. <laughs> uh. Jump cut. All right, here goes. I know I used this as a title already, but I haven't actually said it, so one small step for a head, one giant zap for head kind. Oh, hold X. Ha <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh, here we go. Not even a visual effect? Fine. I think it would be instantaneous from your perspective anyway. Hello? Hello? Methuselah? We've got... We need to have words. You murdered a good friend of mine. Which I suppose he... Never mind. I suppose it was his fault, but still... He wouldn't have needed to sacrifice himself if he weren't such a tool. Ugh. Achievement unlocked. Winters is coming. Found the entrance to Methuselah's core. That's terrible. And it's definitely not a 70s sci-fi reference. It is neither of those things. Welcome to the core. You are not allowed here. What the hell are you doing here? Mappy recommends leaving the core immediately. Know what I think of that, Mappy? Mappy is here to warn you. Oh. By the way, in the subject of this voice actor, while the camera was off earlier in this episode, I was shooting at some uh, drones from a turret, and uh, Artie said, This is harming my ability to trust strangers. And at one point, Oh, I hope that was a glancing blow. Welcome to the core. You are not sad. Oh, I Feels weird to dance here, but it is the tradition, so... goes up, but I can't scroll up. How oh, queer. Hmm. I wonder if I can... No. I think... I'm, I'm gonna call it. That's how you get back out to the main game for the, uh... post-credits finish finding all the stuff part of a Metroidvania.
Winters. The ERL was a liar. You are no clone. Uh, I've seen the body, dude. Uh, oh, I don't like this at all. I may not have much left, but I've got eyes, buddy. You know what occurred to me? And if I'm just a cloned head, there is no organic body left for me to come back to? I might have said this last time. I honestly don't remember. But, uh... There are worse things, I guess. I mean, RoboCop deals with it, right? He's like a head and lungs, and that's about it. I don't know why I'm collecting these. I really don't need them. Oh, and if I don't, no one else will, so... Cover right here, all my energy comes back. Ditto. Wait, now I, can't target you. I need to shoot anything? Our meeting is inevitable. We are inevitable. I'm calling it. He wants to merge with his creator. He's V'ger. That would be a 70s sci-fi reference. That's when Star Trek The Motion Picture came out. In case that reference is lost on you, V'ger, the short answer is that V'ger was originally a human space probe that got upgraded to being a sentient life form. And, uh, it came back to Earth because it wanted to know the minds of its creators. Shields, they do nothing. Oh, well, you've run out of beards to throw at me. I've collected all the dealies. I should have just Oh, I get it. Loop them around here. Duh. I bet the reason he made me able to headland is so that I can merge with his mind. Oh, combat drone. Opening. Thank you. Oh, that's, that's a weird door. Lockdown. I think they're trying to say all your base belong to us. Uh, uh. Oh, he flew into the fucking laser. It's like an idiot. I could have avoided the beard just by going up here, all things considered. This isn't creepy at all. Uh. 
Oh, yeah. Hmm. Never mind. In fact... I thought that reflection there was uh, an A prompt. Precisely what I wanted to happen. wasn't a good sound, was it? I've been searching for what is missing for a very long time. It could not be coaxed from the citizens, no matter how I tried. He's completely out of his mind, isn't he? Like, it's not just that he's evil, he's totally insane after all this operational runtime. Why are these fucking lights that kind of look like bones? What's up with that? Hmm. I don't know how long the next episode will be, but uh, I've reached the end of the timer. So I'm going to insert a jump cut before the outro in case I don't need to use it. I'll simplify things. Yes. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Headlander. When we delve to the very center of Methuselah's core and end this once and for all. Wish me luck, Burning Dog fans. I might just need it. Later!